Hey guys, it's here and today I am back with some more Unity tutorial. Today we will make a door with a keypad. Last time, if you remember, in my previous tutorial, we made a door with key. Uh, right here is is the scene of door with key. Now we're going to make it with a keypad. Now, don't worry if you haven't watched the old one. Um, we are still going to copy uh, not copy um, basically we make everything except I'm going to copy all the cube right here because not gonna but this is all the cube yeah it's all the cube uh, and that okay I'm gonna copy that without the door all right now first is new why new project new scene and save this scene as door with keypad now just make your world uh, or you have a door already so this is just to lessen the time taken also I'm going to take first person character prefab FPS controller there we go now we are going to make the actual door right now just uh, just going to make the door right now uh, it can be anything uh, if you want something to be moving or if you want a a roll up door anything could work just uh, uh, but in this tutorial we are going to cover only uh, rotate rotation not translating uh, position right now we're just going to um, rotate this door right here all right now i'm going to make a new game object create an empty and name this door hinge now uh, we have to uh, we have to line this up to the correct hinge position where the hinge should be literally a hinge i think that's fine now just grab your door I'm going to name this door to the door hinge now whenever you rotate the door hinge it will rotate the door now the open position is negative 90 or if you are facing this side what you want to do is basically 90 but uh, we are going to face here so it's negative 90 all right now uh, we still need the keypad now grab this one This will be the keypad. Now this one will like keypad. One will like a keypad. What you need is grab this game object to the keypad. Here yeah, I'm going to name this to keypad. And so it's the collider. Now change the collider position of x to zero, y axis to zero, and z axis to zero. Now what we're going to do is add component physics box collider. And just change the box collider position to a bit in front uh, if you want this one way uh, thing just um, put it like here like like this now don't forget to make this is trigger so it's so uh, the player can pass can get into the box now uh, now going to create a new C sharp script called keypad All right. Uh, yeah, actually, I tried uh, coding this before uh, recording this. I'm going to uh, no. I just make uh, now. I have now. I know what to do. So last time was a little bit failure on the recording. So yeah, I have to record what I have code last time. So yeah. So first, what do we need is public string uh, current password. This is basically your password. It could be anything, only numbers, no letters, no symbol, nope, just number. Okay, I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five. That's the most secure password ever. Now, now what we're going to need is public string input and public string temporary input. 
uh, you'll know why we need this later and also we need is a public bull on trigger no 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 um in yeah on triggers yeah now we need also public um door open and then the last one we need is what do we need was one I don't know that. no anyway so void on 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 trigger enter um I forget what collider other oh yeah what we need is a public um transform door hinge uh transform why is is it transform with a capital t yeah yeah uh is it really yeah i think it's a capital t now on trigger enter on trigger is equal to true and void on trigger exit collider other on trigger on on trigger should be false and then temp input is equal to false um yeah just like that now void on gui actually uh on trigger yeah yeah that's correct if on trigger is equal to true what we want to say is gui box new rack uh we need one more bull public bull hmm on no no, no. keypad screen if uh, also if we get out what we do is keypad screen to false joy dot box new rack zero zero one two hundred twenty five two hundred twenty five 200 comma 25 press e to to open keypad now if input dot get key get no 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 input why is not working input with capital i key call key input dot get key down then key code dot e or whatever button you want this to be put r or whatever in your keyboard and then keypad screen it's equal to true on trigger is equal to false now if keypad screen is equal to true um UI.box new rack zero zero um I do not know the value yet so we can just put four hundred here for a place for the place hold placeholder there we go then joy box new rack zero no no five five uh wait, let me count uh so 100 200 300 5 10 15 20 so basically it's we need um one, two, three, 300 and 15 20 320 5 310 and this one we just need is 12 and just the variable inside this all the text should be temp input now the actual number or the numpad this is the hardest one to code not hardest because displaying because you need all numbers that's the problem so five uh this one should be um, 30 35 100 100 and this one should be one now um 
inside here uh, temp input is equal to one yeah this like that temp input is equal to temp input is equal to no 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 i mean is input is equal to temp input plus what am i input is equal to input plus temp input now temp input is equal to one there we go and then down here now it's two now ten input should be two uh not this input i mean that's the lower capitalization i input there we go uh, this one should be 500 plus 100 is 105 so this one should be 110 and just copy this one to number three this one set this to 215 okay i think that works all right now just copy this tree So this one is the new line, so 35 plus 1 is 135, so 140, 140, and 140, uh, so it's before 5, 6, six 7, 8, nine seven so this one should be 245 nine and last one get this from eight because it's on the middle now what we're going to do is 300 350 this one should be zero open your unity uh, grab your keypad to your keypad collider down here since it's the collider here just put the script right there and you're good to go exit there's an error temp input why is the temp input on <laughs> and drunk so just like that now i'm not drunk just like that If I go near this thing, you'll know, just press E to open keypad. Eh, but you know, actually, it works, right? Oh, that's the problem. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh, wait, since this is that input, so what we need this one is to be input. Oh, uh, when on triggers exit, input. Uh, should be black <coughs> mm, uh, we don't actually need temp input i think but let's put input there yeah we don't need temp input but Yeah, so just remove ten input because we don't need it. Okay, I know that's a lot of errors, so don't worry. It's just a simple fix. A simple fix. What you gotta do is ten input plus plus quotation quotation one is this even quotation mark? I don't know might be quotation mark so six seven eight nine and then zero just like that 
now uh we need a void update yep if input with capitalized with small small capitalization i in input is equal to car password and then what you gonna do is door open is equal to true um, i mean door open is without ed because it makes no sense if we ed is not open yet so if door open um what do we need is bar new rot it's just the same as the old one quaternion dot rotate towards transform should be changed with door hinge dot rotation uh comma quatern 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 dot euler and then zero zero m zero negative 90 this is the opening state and then zero zero f and then last one is the time time dot delta time times 250 just like that and then um and then this one should be cut and this one should be if apostrophe apostrophe i mean exclamation point door open is door open which means if door open is false then do this when it's open there's no way that the player can enter the joy screen again because it's already open that's the point of going to the joy screen again on the keypad but it's up to you can always change the keypad setting if you want to change the middle just change everything um to screen dot with position or you can use matrix for times four trees or something like and then it's all up to you so now see it's working when i get out there we go so one two three four five is the password uh the problem is i haven't put the door hinge right here let's grab the door hinge and you are done with everything this is a total secure keypad lock uh, except if you can jump if you want to it's not a problem now I'll just put inside a password to one two three uh, the problem is with this uh, script thingy you can also disable if you want to and you can fix this GUI but that's what I'm gonna do now fixing the GUI because it looks so bad right now so it's 450 so 455 right now all right just like that now whenever you go to the keypad it will, it will look better so as I said I will not going to focus on the GUI in any of my tutorial because what's the what's the what's uh, the point of wasting time in GUI in tutorial, right? So one, two, three, four, five. Um, um, okay, why it's not opening? If door open, yeah. Um, is that when door open is close to false? No, I. Oh, I forgot door hinge dot rotation is equal to new rot yeah just like that uh script will be downloading in the description below all right that's all i hope you guys like it and i'll see you guys later in the next tutorial goodbye